Hello again, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great? I'm Jeff Kleiber, and over in Norway today, the first day of World Cup in Stavanger, Norway, and some great racing today. Just a quick recap and some key takeaways. First of all, no Russians, must be political, but they didn't show up. The push is the new dance craze in the team pursuit, everybody's doing it, but the U.S. still has an edge, although others are closing in, so watch out for that. That's going to be a real battle this year up through the next Olympics. So you're going to see teams get close in, get better at this push technique, and get more synchronized, become that six-legged organism out there, and they will get faster. World records are going to fall, for sure, in that. Rodney Wicklund, great victory in Norway today. How can you beat hometown crowd, 3,000 meter, great skating, and she has the swing going. She's got the Jorik Bergsma, Sven Kramer, Nils van der Poel straight away going, severe blade angles, really getting out of that push early, moving with it, and using her body weight to swing. Not pushing, but using her body weight and timing. And that's the new model, that's the new paradigm in skating. If you want to use your speed effectively, if you want to use your body effectively, use your mass, your mass into the ice, your mass out of the ice, your mass back down into the ice. The days of pushing against your mass are over. So watch Ragne for that in the straightaway. Also, her turns unbelievably build. She builds them as good as any skater in skating right now. Watch her turns for building technique. She really builds her turns, enters great track pattern, comes down on the apex and never lets that go. Extremely good corner skater as well. And then, of course, the star of the day, Jordan Stoltz out of the United States, a farm boy out of Kewaskum, Wisconsin, coached by Bob Corby, who coached Dan Jansen back in the 80s, and he's back. And he's got Jordan so fit, the end of his race, great last lap, 28-7 in the 1500. And he can throw in the strokes, too, at the end of the race. So it shows he's fit. He knows how to adjust his technique to keep speed. Also, his technique, we've talked about it before, we've got four videos up of Jordan, and they're all about his timing, his alignment, his pressure into the ice, and his turns. Today, he even eclipsed that. He's getting better all the time. The what he does better than anybody is get through that hit zone so fast, get out over that skate, have everything all lined up, his chin is outside, and he comes across that blade so fast, and then he's up and out of the push and done. And nobody can do that like him. He's got so much speed and power through the hit zone that he gets more rest. It's like Sven Kramer. I've said this before about Sven. He got more rest than any distance skater. He wasn't necessarily fitter, maybe not even stronger, but his timing afforded him more rest. With more rest, you skate more effectively with less effort. And that's been the thrust of this channel. So check out Jordan Stoltz's race today, the 1500, it's on ISU channel replay. And we'll have more about these skaters tomorrow on Speed Skating Deconstructed from Norway. I'm Jeff Kleiber, and have a great evening.